Well, we've driven the D-Max on the road. Now it's time to find out about its off-road potential. I've just selected low range and I've got a really steep descent here. I'm in first gear. I've pulled the Tiptronic function on the automatic gearbox back into first gear and we're relying wholly and solely on gearing and engine braking now. My foot was right off the brake pedal then and it just descended a treat. That was a really good illustration of how an automatic gearbox can work with the right setup, the right gear ratios. Well done, Mr. Izuzu. One of the great strengths of Isuzu's vehicles has always been their toughness. But, you know, they underscore this truck heritage that they've got. And Isuzu are the world's largest diesel engine makers. They make more diesel engines than anybody else and therefore they're putting a lot of trucks on the road. And that heritage shines through in the D-Max. Now, we've got a traditional dual speed gearbox here, a high and low set of gears. I'm locked back into low at the moment. I've selected first gear, so there we go. I'm convinced that my rate of descent is going to be nice and controlled, so let's see what happens. Just sneak around the corner, take my foot off the accelerator pedal now, and we start to make our descent. And the engine braking is holding the car up really nicely. Okay, here we go. Nothing like a little bit of speed. just entering our moguls. Our moguls are one of my favourite parts of this track because it gives us an opportunity to check out the vehicle's wheel articulation. How far can it push its wheels up and down in the air and maintain that all important forward progress. The other thing too, and this is a, a bit of a remark about manufacturers putting side steps on four wheel drives. I'm not a big fan of side steps because they tend to crunch out in situations like this. And if you have a listen, crunch, there it was. Side steps for the vertically challenged might be a good thing, for, but for me, I just don't want them, don't need them, they get in the way. You know, for me, automatic transmissions and four wheel drives haven't necessarily been the best of bedfellows. However, we have to be realists, as a lot of vehicle fleets today are being driven by folk who don't know how to drive a manual gearbox. For those of you who do have a commercial fleet and you need to send engineers out in the field, I think this D-Max ticks all the right boxes. It's got an automatic transmission that has a Tiptronic function, so we can drive it like a manual just by flicking the transmission lever forwards and backwards as is required. And the engine braking on it is really, really good. It's nice and deep and it's exactly the same as you'd find in a manual gearbox. So I think it's the best of both worlds. It's a great transmission. So now I'm going to take the D-Max through our network of trails here at the Adventure 4 Drive Test Track. It's a genuine off-road facility, lots of twists and turns, lots of little surprises to catch vehicles out. One very commendable thing about the D-Max is its turning circle is, is really good. Utes these days tend to run to about 5 metres in length and they take, in some cases, a devil of his own, own job to get around a corner. But the articulation out of the front end is very, very good. There's lots of left and right wheel movement underneath those wheel arches, and it can sneak around a pretty tight corner without too much trouble. So that's definitely a good thing off-road. In the sand, it's pretty commendable. We're running road pressures at the moment, and I haven't found anything that's really been awkward enough to bring it to a halt, so that's been pretty pleasing too. So initially its off-road credential looks like it's pretty neat, so I'm pretty happy with that. So let's confirm one way or the other about this automatic transmission. How well will it descend us running down Hummer Hill here? Got a big steep deep descent. We're in first gear, I'm coming off the brakes now. So this is gearbox and engine braking alone. And down she comes, that was great. Excellent slow descent, very happy with that. 
Well, all right, well, we've made the descent. Let's see what the D-Max's climbing ability is like. We're going up the same hill, lock ourselves in the groove, gently increase the engine speed, and up we come. That was easy. That was great, well done. Wow, that was a great bit of fun. The Isuzu D-Max really has got the spirit of truck behind it. We've banged it over the Adventure 4-wheel drive test track. It's been a great ride. I've had an awesome day and I'd recommend it to you. It's a great ute and it needs a look.